Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Again, we are here in a way that may seem strange to many. I want you to get used to hearing this voice. I want you to understand the reality that is here. You would ask yourself, human being, is this real? You might say, crying, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing. Believing that you're really channeling and the, that the voice comes from the other side of the veil is just it's so difficult. If that's what you're saying today, human being, I will say, blessed are you. For these are honest words coming from one who is struggling to work out of the three-dimensional box. And what happens is that slowly if you ask the right questions of your own self, of your own belief, of your own psyche, you start getting shown things you didn't expect. For if indeed it is a quantum experience on the other side of the veil, if indeed I am linearizing this conversation and presenting it to my partner, if this is true, this is a quantum experience, and that means that language is only a small part of it. That the audio that you would hear or the words that are seen on the page, such a small part of it. We have spoken of something called the third language. This third language, identified some time ago, is not a language in linearity, which is the third one. It is a language of the catalyst of the three. We use the three in numerology to represent a catalytic action number. That is to say that all of you have the ability to receive what is being given at a level which is quantum and not language, and not words on a page. Even the reader of this particular message When we give a scientific message, when we give suggestions, I ask my partner to go very slow. Some of this has been revealed to him and some of it has not. I ask him to proceed slowly for it will be seen and read clearly and much will be seen around it. For what follows in this message is not just esoterics. There will be a practicality and there will be physicists looking at it. It is not going to be complex. For even the one sitting in the chair who doesn't understand science will still receive what they need to receive through the third language and will understand why. This information I'm about to give you can be two generations away, maybe three. But it all has to do with quantum invention. Physicists, listen, I'm going to give you something you already know is possible. It is another field of science that flies in the face of everything three-dimensional you've ever learned. Humans are funny. Even in the highest math and geometry you have, everything is defined in a straight line. Everything defined in a straight line. A circle is an infinite number of straight lines. <laughs> That's funny. It's almost as though a circle didn't exist in nature. And the human has to straight line it for it to exist. Interesting, isn't it? I'm just giving you the bias. Bubbles have always been around. They're beautiful, you know. They're natural, you know. The circle is a natural occurring event in space as well. 
what you don't know and you may suspect Greetings, dear ones. gravity I and magnetism all bend they don't go straight they never have what about light it doesn't either when affected by the other two that ought to tell you something nothing is really a straight line at all the only straight lines around are in the brains of the humans <laughs> you're not using the right kind of math either and we've told you that there is an elegance of math that is quantum and if I begin to tell you about it even in the simplest terms it's going to seem overly complex Quantum math uses something that is going to be discovered and we're going to give it a name and that's going to be influential numbers. Numbers that exist not with empirical values but with values that are influenced by the numbers around them. Four is not a four. Four is modified because of the numbers that sit next to it. In a formula, in linearity, in counting, each time a formula is manufactured in a quantum state looking for a solution, all of the numbers are modified by the numbers next to them. They're influential numbers. The four is affected by the five. Reduced maybe by the three. In quantum math, if you use influential numbers, dear ones, it is a beautiful thing when you find out the attributes of them and they are consistent. You will then have the formula for a circle being a whole number, not an irrational number at all. It won't be pi. It'll be pi solved. We ask the physicists to work it backwards if you have to. To get a whole number of pi, that'll give you a hint at what has to be done. Imagine mathematics with influential numbers, where each number is not empirical, but influenced by the one around it. I'm giving you high math now. And here's how it's going to serve you. Because when you start to understand it, you're finally going to understand what I'm going to call the holy grail of physics. <laughs> That's a human term. In your straight line thinking, in your bias, you have all of your 3D formulas, don't you? And when you look at the basis of physics you talk about, those things which have mass. And in those things which have mass, you've even figured out atomic structure and density. All those things. And you think they're static, don't you? You think there is a formula that is for everything. If it has so much mass, it weighs so much in a certain atmosphere, a certain gravity. You've got it all figured out. And I will tell you that all of those formulas are 3D. And as soon as you become quantum with them, they all stretch. All this to tell you this, it is possible for you to alter the mass of any object in existence. It doesn't matter how large or small or dense it is. You can alter the mass of it. And you have thought all this time that the formula is static. Great, and it is not. Ones, I am cryon.
Yugoslavia, there's a workshop. Historic it is for the man who thought out of the box, Tesla. And in that workshop, there are marks on the ceiling for the objects that took off on his workbench and went straight up. Shattered they did, hitting the ceiling they did. Nikolai was frustrated, for he had discovered massless objects and didn't know how. He thought out of the box, the only one in existence to ever give you a thought of how alternating current might work. Oh, it's more than 3D, study it.